new project let us create the new one let us call it as csv csv to xml example base okay go on just take that flow and everything and i think csv part you can okay csv is coming as a payload so stdp listener will require so it's almost 11 pm for you madhusudan 11 night time okay yeah. okay okay you guys are amazing you know fine uh, for me, it is a 9.26 a.m. now. Very pleasant morning. Perfect. So put it anything. That's okay. And fine. Cool. So I'm just hiding my video. Not required at all. Where it's gone. Yeah, I just say stop video. Yeah, only I can see now your screen on my machine okay very good uh let's take this then what we have the transform message uh, maybe logger logger which will print the payload let's take the logger which will print the payload yeah perfect and uh, that logger will just print the payload that's perfect which will be the csv content printing on the payload you can make the display name properly display csv very good then that csv will be coming to transform message and there you will make the now here we don't have the yeah you can define this schema directly come there and define the schema we don't have the sample file so we just say add uh, fine csv type or something no let's let's say csv type this is csv yeah perfect create type Okay, you select that type and build your schema, EMP ID integer, ename text, salary integer. That's perfect. You can start building it. Simple type, CSV, perfect. Create it. Yes, column is EMP ID. Perfect. Type is integer. Integer number, that's perfect. Then, cool, ename. Okay, whatever, whatever you want to give, no problem at all. Okay, uh, just make sure that EMP ID number not got saved really. Okay, that's fine though. Whenever finally you select and say, yeah, that's correct. Salary, make it number. Very good. So this is like CSV content. We just uh, created that. Okay. So three, three fields are enough, right? What is there? Yeah, that's perfect. That's what we do every time. Select. Okay. And then create the XML XML file. Create the sample XML file. Array of employees. So just come to Notepad++. It's already open. Or you, if, if you already have some EMP array kind of uh, XML file, you might have this DB2 XML somewhere. You might create it that or something. Okay, this is sample files you do have. Okay, perfect. Check out in the DB2 XML folder if you already have the file. So we can leverage that. Yeah, I think, uh, do you have any XML file? XML document, I can see the top one. Open that, top one. Yeah, edit with Notepad++. Notepad++, yes. So I can see yes this is like sample file just take couple of employees we don't want any header to that just have the staff as the root element and just two employee records will be sufficient in that you can just calibrate that file properly and you copy paste that contained in something else you open the yeah just copy this and put it yeah maybe copy the two records you are very smart just two records will be sufficient it's just a sample file by the way 
uh, while sending actual data anyway xml we are not going to send csv we are going to send so that's how it is Mm, a double quotation you okay so if it is taking the xml i think i don't mind that's fine that the top header you can remove suppose we we we, we are not supposed to type that manually uh, the top header also just edit it for a while yeah the top header you remove it you can see that it's not needed it will it will add it whatever it want this is the simple let me see all good okay okay save it as save it and use it as a example file in your transform message output schema i think you are you are quite comfortable with that everybody of you for that matter output schema we are making add type xml type perfect and select it as xml and select it as a sample file browse for that file and all good a schema instead of schema make it sample file hold on hold on hold on cancel yeah exactly and then browse and it will browse xml file browse your xml file and save it there perfect okay uh, all good array of objects source array of object destination very good so you just do one to one mapping employee id to employee id e name to e name salary to salary make sure that your dwl code is generated properly very good uh, so sam i had a doubt in case if i need to i um, mean update this mapping so if i made a mistake then how to correct it do i need uh, to delete it or? yeah either either manually if you are comfortable little bit about dwl syntax manually you okay. can make change in the code but that i don't advise as of now better way you suppose in e name by mistake let us take the example by mistake yeah. for salary yeah. uh, you map the wrong value assume that so yeah. right click on the salary right. right click on the salary just say remove okay. field mappings okay. and okay. only for that field you can do it again okay, okay. if you Thank feel you. the complete thing is uh, wrong just go to once there you right click on okay. the xml output schema and there is a clear mapping over there at the root you can right click yeah clear metadata it will clear the whole code and everything it will erase the whole okay. mapping one to one again you do that okay. got the point okay. yes yes i got it perfect so now the and the print it only on uh, console let us not generate the file xml file that is fine uh, we will print it logger payload print it on the screen so logger and print payload which is display xml yeah we will make it symmetric display xml and the payload will be printed yeah on console is implicit anyway okay <laughs> perfect that's okay leave it and anyway this xml i hope now it's clear that set payload we don't need because anyway your xml is lying in the payload and anyway that is going to be the response to the uh, postman so postman will show the xml let's see that now the main thing uh, you you just save and run your stuff firstly deploy it yes uh, only 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 okay you can you go to the deployment option if you want and uncheck this guy uh, okay okay so hopefully only one project got started if you close other project it will not give you that option to run multiple projects that's fine yes 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 say yes it is changing the view from uh, design perspective to the debug perspective which is absolutely perfect rather you can check that box also remember my decision so that in future it will not ask you that okay. so now uh, it's debugging two uh, files two projects really no i am asking like uh, i selected that okay let's let's wait and let's see let's see that uh, if it is giving that deployed deployed no no harm if if both the projects contain same port you will be in problem 
okay 9001 if it is in common okay i can see only one project got deployed no no not the other project okay whatever reason the other project is not deployed leave it that's fine uh, you just say that and anybody remember about how to send csv as a payload anybody want to help just type capital h in the chat box i'll unmute you not i madhusudan will unmute you okay your your clothes yeah tedesi tedesi put one number one yes so unmute tedesi and he will tell you how to put it csv in the there, there is a catch over there trick you can say csv you cannot just go to the format and select csv one thing i want you to experiment madhusudan can you click on that text raw you selected very good so click on that text which is next to graph ql you know text click on that so here there is xml json but there is no csv available so if i want to mark some content as a csv i need to play around with the header header part so in header i will specify that this is csv content that's what tedesi want to help you so unmute him and he will help you tedesi you can speak out and uh, Uh, Sam, I don't have a option to ask him. So you are host, so you go to Tedesi. You say yeah, ask I to think unmute. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. He and missed me. Yeah, go right. Yeah, type there. Content type. Select it. Yeah. Very and good. And go to the values. Text CSV. CSV. Very yeah. fast, Madhusudan. Yes, he got it. Okay, I think and just put the CSV content. Nothing to do there. Text raw, no, all good. Just put CSV stuff over there. Your CSV file. Oh. You you will pass the data now. So maybe have some CSV file, which is coming in the real time. You know, postman will pass that. Now you are only running the postman, so you are supposed to paste that content. It's not a file, so copy paste. Uh, the schema should match you know whatever schema you created the header name and the data type that should match emp id e name salary perfect i think you can copy this content and use it all good so that's fine sam uh, can i ask you a question sure yeah any state of like uh, using a payload can we use another tra transform message to send uh, the 200 okay and message no come again where another transform message <clears throat> from where yeah to send the message yeah to send the message on the dw uh data still, wave still, on the data still wave not, still not getting you where the data wave language uh, when you transfer the message Go there, Madhusudan. I'm trying to understand what Tedesi is asking. Oh, I think he's asking about uh, here the input schema. He's telling about yeah. Uh, uh, no, we but put over here, there, like 200. Okay. No, 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 no. This is a schema. You know, this is just a schema. Schema. Even if we added sample file as a XML. is that picking up the data in the sample file mm. no it is only referring the schema of the sample file so whenever you say mapping in the transform message at the design time it will mm. be only schema all the time getting me no data involved over there actually data is coming no, down no, no, to no, field saying, mm -hmm. no as a response as a response to the postman 200 okay and message successful like we say in the payload yeah yeah. You, yeah you then in that case in that case you will have set payload added and in the set payload you said xml file generated and that response you can send it to the postman so you have to add just one set payload at the end right <clears throat> so i am getting okay. here hmm. maybe you have the the same number so uh, i think that was my yesterday problem too no but the, the numbers no, no. database is not involved you know database is not involved here let us see 
No, he's talking yes. about the port number nine zero zero. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So maybe you stop everything, go to debug options, uncheck that other projects, and just be on the one project only. Okay, nine zero zero. It is fine. Okay. Don't don't mess it up. Maybe you stop it everything, Madhusudan. Uh, go to debug options, and I want you to uncheck all other projects and only be on one project. Uh, stop it. Stop this. Go to console and stop it. Go to console tab. Stop this. Clean it. Let's not let's not do it like. Uh, okay. Okay. Clean it. Perfect. Go to design perspective. Very good. Go to run and debug options. Firstly, I want you to do that. Go to run, run menu, and debug options. Debug configurations. Go there. Uncheck, uncheck other projects. See that nothing is got checked. Just uncheck the unnecessary project. Nothing, right? Nothing is checked. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you want, use some fresh port in the listener. and just debug your project double click on that so listener listener go to listener tab yeah perfect and use very good 9008 i think that is fine okay run it debug it that's okay So shall I send it? Uh, looks good. Your deployed message is there, right? Yeah. Yes, it is coming. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> 